Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my channel where we get nerdy. Hi, my nerdlings. Yep, it's totally sticking. I love it. Today, we have the September Beacon Book Box. Um, I honestly forgot <laughs> everything about this book box. The theme, the works. So now that I cut the bottom, this is what we have inside. All right. First, our theme is morally gray, apparently. And there's the spoiler card in case you want to know any of the information, but I'm ignoring this. I'm going to save this box for last because I know what's in this box. And it's going to have me like super excited. So we're going to save that for last. Some bubble wrap. I don't know what this is. So there's this little, like, foamy piece thing. It says, Thou shall not suffer with. Thou shall not suffer a witch to love. Shelby Maharin. I probably butcher her pronunciation every time I say it. Serpent and dove. What is it? I'm guessing it's a car cup holder. Like, do you put it down in the bottom and it'd be a coat? Like, what's... I don't know. I think. Maybe. That's what we're guessing. It's the car cup holder. I'm gonna have to Google this because, like... Why do you need a car cup holder? Like, not just this, but, like, in general. Like, why is this a thing? I digress. <laughs> then we have the ebook of the month. Um, it's called Awaken, Awakened by Sierra Dugan. After losing her parents in a tragic accident, uh, after losing her parents in an accident, accident, only she survived. Hannah is desperate for answers. Haunted by the events of that tragic night, she struggles to move on, yearning for some deeper truth about her loss. But when it comes to turn a new page and move cross-country for college, she vows to leave the past behind. After all, Bell Cliff University is a thousand miles away from the ghosts nipping at her heels. Yet when Hannah accidentally awakens a handsome witch from a hidden cave near campus, she realizes he isn't the only thing stirring out of a slumber. Hannah has roused all magic, including the devil herself. As if spells, curses, and college jitters weren't enough, this witch claims to have known her for from four centuries prior, and their connection is more than casual. Thrust into a world of sorcery and monsters, Hannah must fight to keep the magic she unleashed from claiming a price too steep for her pay for her to pay oh that sounds good that sounds really good i don't read ebooks uh i have a really hard time focusing with them so i'll probably just find this uh hard copy somewhere but i need to pause because i just had a tick crawling up my arm hence why i got distracted um and i don't want to get bitten so i'm not flipping you off i'm sorry <laughs> one minute okay now we're back. Sorry. Um, let's see. What else? Three dark queens are born in a glen. Sweet little triplets. Triplets will never be friends. Bubble gum lip balm. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I probably should show it all to you. Obviously, this is Three Dark Crowns inspired lip balm. We're going to smell it. We're going to see if it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells like bubble gum. But not like that normal, like, you know that, too, well, if you're in the U.S., I don't know if they have this abroad. Um, there's like the round bubble gum. It comes in the plastic thing that's like this big around and it's 
all spiraled and then you like pull it out it's like tape it makes me think of a tape dispenser you pull it out and you like cinch it it smells like the pink one. Oh, that's so good i'm gonna have to bring this to work tonight because at work where we wear masks um and your lips get really dry so that's actually gonna go right in my pocket um we have the art bigger art from the lip balm on front of the baking with the beacons recipe of the month Lou's Salted Caramel Fondue. Ooh, yum. I'm going to hold that right like that. So if you want to take the recipe, you can. Okay. I'm sure that was plenty of time if I had, so you could pause it. Um, and then we have something in plastic. the the same lip balm thing on a little cloth like I'm guessing this would be for glasses or some type of lens that's what it feels like it feels like um the cloth that my lens my glasses came with to clean them Ooh, that's helpful now if only I could find my glasses I know I'm a mess I lost my glasses like two and a half months ago Maybe not that long ago, but I lost my glasses. I can't find them anywhere. I have my backup pair, but my backup pair um, hurts my face, so I don't wear them. <laughs> um, then we have the author letter for the book, which is Among Thieves from M.J. Kuhn. And it's in plastic, so... Let's see. In just over a year's time, Raya, Ka Raya Kutella has already earned herself a reputation as the quickest, deadliest blade in the dark side of Kerouac, not to mention the sharpest tongue. But Raya Ka Ka Kautula... Kautuela is not her real name. For the past six years, a deadly secret has kept her in hiding, running from town to town, doing whatever it takes to stay one step ahead of the formidable guildmaster, the sovereign ruler of the five kingdoms of the Moor. No matter how far or fast she travels, his servants never fail to track her down, but even the most powerful men can be defeated. Raya's path now leads directly into the heart of the Guildmaster's stronghold, and though it's against every instinct she has, it's not a path she can walk alone. Forced to team up with a crew of assorted miscreants, smugglers, and thieves, Raya must plan her next moves very carefully. If she succeeds, her freedom will be won once and for all, but unfortunately for Raya, her new allies are nearly as selfish as she is, and they all have plans of their own. Ooh. Now I see why the theme is morally gray. Let's see what it looks like naked. So it's like this purpley gray. And then blue on the spine. Maybe if it'll focus. So that sounds good. <laughs> and then we're going to go to the thing I saved for, for last, which is the, let me put the other stuff back in here before I lose them, our third mug from the Socking Jack the Ripper series. So this one is going to be influenced by, um, what is it, Escaping from Houdini? I should know this. I read all the books this year. So... I'm going to show it to you all first, and then I will look at it. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Is that Thomas, or is that... 
a different character. I hope that's Donna. Either way, I love the purple that's on this. It's really pretty. But anyways, there's our escaping, escaping Houdini mug. Um, the last one for this series will be coming in December's box, and that will be uh, Capturing the Devil. So I can't wait. But I love this. There's a reason this was saved for last. Um, if you've been around for a bit, you know that um, Thomas Cresswell stole my heart. And I have no shame in admitting it. <laughs> so that is it for this unboxing. So I will be seeing you all shortly at some point. But remember, until next time, you are loved and you are valid.